Welcome to the Great White Tools YouTube channel. Today we are going to unbox this Milwaukee M18 brushless drill driver kit. Model number for this is 2801-21P. And so this is the brushless compact series from, from Milwaukee. In my opinion, this is kind of geared towards homeowners to get them started on a Milwaukee M18 platform. I think you probably use it as a professional too, but I feel like it's more geared towards homeowners to get them started on the M18 platform. Currently this drill kit is on clearance at Home Depot for $100. So if you really want to buy this, I recommend going to check it out sooner rather than later as it's on clearance, it's probably not going to come back after it's sold out. This is a Canadian channel, so keep that in mind when you're looking at your local Home Depot. So we're going to unbox this and then we're going to do some testing and uh, we'll see how it does. So out of the box, everything comes in a nice carrying bag here. There's a nice Milwaukee logo. Looks to be a fairly well built bag. And first thing out of the box, out of the bag, you get your instructions as well as a pamphlet showing all the M18 tools. That's another reason why I think this is geared towards homeowners or people that aren't on the Milwaukee platform yet. Next out of the bag, you get your Milwaukee M18 dual charger. It charges both M18 and M12 batteries. If you're on an M12 platform already, this could be a good way to jump up to the M18 platform as well. Next out of the bag, you get your Milwaukee M18 2 amp hour battery. So this battery, it is fully charged. I did open it before I made this video just to fully charge it, but it came with about one bar, just enough to kind of test out the tool and make sure it was working. And last but not least out of the bag, is your Milwaukee M18 drill driver. Now this isn't a hammer drill, it's just a regular drill driver, so you can, I wouldn't recommend it for drilling through concrete or drilling through stucco or any masonry products. It's a two-speed drill, it is an 18-point clutch, plus one, which is for drilling holes. It is a metal chuck with, I believe that's a plastic housing, and it is brushless, as you can see. So the specifications for this drill is zero to 500 RPM on speed one, and on speed two, it is zero to 1800 RPM, and a maximum torque of 500 inch pounds. So it is a relatively powerful drill, but we're gonna do a couple tests, and we're gonna see how it does. It has a nice LED light on the front there, as you can see. And it's relatively quiet in my opinion. From other drills that I've used in the past, I'd say it's more on the quiet side than compared to others. All right, so we'll get into some tests. Okay, so the first actual test that we're gonna do is we're gonna drive in a couple of drywall screws. I mean, it's a fairly, fairly simple task. If you can't do that, then you may as well throw it away. Not gonna lie. So these are just regular inch and a quarter drywall screws. Fire it in right there. If you can't do it on speed two, then it's pretty much garbage. No problem. Do the second one just to show. Again, it has no problem drilling those in. And lots of power to the screws. So there's the drywall screws. Next up, we're going to drive in a couple deck screws. Generally speaking, you wouldn't really use a drill driver for driving in deck screws, but that's not to say that you can't. I personally would use an impact driver, but this should be just fine too for that. Again, we're gonna try on speed two. We're on drill. And these are three inch deck screws. Try right there. Again, it's sunk in, no problem. Okay, and we'll do another one. Just to show that wasn't a fluke. Again, that one is like at least a quarter inch down, so it has lots of power. I feel like many homeowners would tackle a task like building their own deck, so this is easy enough power to build yourself a deck when it comes to regular deck screws. 
So next up, we're gonna try the smallest Bosch Daredevil spade bit that I have. It's a quarter inch, it's self-feeding. We're gonna see how it can do. On speed two, see if it can do it. Again, it has no problem. It's a small bit. It's fairly simple. I'd always recommend wearing gloves when you're doing tasks or different tests like this. It's very easy to get a splinter and it's a very simple thing that you can avoid just by wearing a simple cheap pair of gloves. Next up, we're going to try a 4 inch GRK fastener. We'll see if it can do these. We're also going to try and speed two. Always be careful if you're using a drill driver, you can really hurt your wrist your wrist if you're not careful. Okay, and go. That is perfectly seated flush, so it had no problem doing that. That was again in speed two, so that is a fairly high torque motor, I'd say. We'll do another one right about there. Again, it has no problem. Sunk perfectly flush. Very nice. And it has no problem taking them out either. So next up, we're gonna try a Bosch three quarter inch spade bit. I found that it has jammed a couple times when it's not quite in the forward, so I don't think it's a big deal breaker, just something to note. We're going to try in speed two, and I'll try to be as careful as I can, as these don't come with handles. I'll try right about there. And go. Wow, absolutely no problem with that. That was impressive. These are brand new blades also, but that was impressive from this drill. So because it was able to do those four inch GRKs, I think it'll have no problem doing a seven and a quarter inch. So we're gonna give that one a shot. Bit of a balancing act. Okay, so that's struggling a little bit in speed two. We're gonna bring it down to speed one. I will have no problem. There you go. We'll do one more. This one will do strictly in speed one. We'll go right about there. Okay, and go. Again, it has no problem doing that. Okay, I'm gonna take them out quickly. There's one. We'll try and speed two once. I don't know if it'll do it. I'm gonna be careful because this can really hurt your wrist. take it out in speed two and it almost did drive it in the first time in speed two so that just shows how much power the motor actually has. All right so we did the three quarter inch spade bit we're going to try one inch now and see if it can do that. There's a bit of a knot here but I feel like it can do that. We're going to give it a try. Okay and go. This thing is incredible. The power it actually has is quite impressive. For a hundred dollar drill, I, I don't think you can go wrong with this. This is an impressive drill. 
Okay, and to round out the spade bits, we're going to do an inch and a quarter Bosch Daredevil bit also. I did have to work a little bit at the beginning with the not being there with the one inch, so we'll see if we can do it on speed two. If not, then we'll drop it down to speed one. Go right about there. Okay. Okay, so it's not able to do it in speed two. We'll drop down to speed one to finish out the hole. And there you have it. No problem in speed one. Lots of torque there. All right, for our final test, we're gonna use this quarter inch to half inch impact adapter. I believe this is a Dewalt brand. I've had it for a little bit, worked very well. Okay, we're gonna try and speed two. We're gonna try a four inch by half inch leg. All right, and go. Okay, so it's not able to do it in speed one, or in speed two, we'll try it in speed one. Well, it's really struggling with this one, I don't think it's able to do it. Although to be fair, that is right by where the knot is, so I'll give it a, another test right here, and we'll give it a fair shot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll give it another shot. I'm going to try and speed one. I'm not going to do anything too crazy that could hurt my wrist or anything like that. Generally, for these fasteners, you want a drill that comes with a handle. This one does not. And it doesn't really have a place to mount one, so just be careful when you do things like this, as it's not really intended for that. Yeah, so it's not, it's in speed one, it's just not able to do it, it doesn't have the power needed. That is quite surprising, but I am quite impressed with everything else that it's been able to do. And that is a relatively, that is a very hard task for it to do, so kind of, kind of makes sense. It is a bit warm, it doesn't smell like it's burning by any means. Just smells like it's a working tool. As for battery life, it is down to two bars. So doing all those different holes, different uh, drill bits, different uh, screws, went down two bars. This is only a little two amp hour battery, so kind of can't expect it to last all day if you're doing big fasteners and stuff like that. But I think generally speaking with this drill, you wouldn't be doing too many big fasteners anyway. My final thoughts on this drill for $100, I think if you're already on the Milwaukee platform and you're looking to looking to expand, maybe you have an extra guy that you need to supply a drill for, I think it's a good deal. I think it's a good drill to buy. If you're a homeowner and you're looking for a battery platform, I think it's a good place to start. Um, keep in mind what tools you're going to want down the road. As the battery, generally I'd speak, I'd say for a homeowner, you want to stick with one battery platform. So. Take a look at their lineup that comes with, uh, there's a pamphlet in the bag that it comes with. Take a look, see if there's any other tools on there that you want. I would recommend this tool. I think it's a very good drill. If you like the video, then please take a minute to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you uh, enjoyed it. And if you have any other tests that you'd like to see it done, see done and different tools and whatnot, I'd be happy to hear your recommendations in the comments below. And uh, leave your feedback in the comments. I look forward to reading it. My name is Michael, thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you on the next video.